How's it going everybody? I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are 3,751 in the world in the Builder Base. Gonna be jumping right into some live attacks, trying to take out some of these tricky bases. So, what am I looking at here when I first see this base? I see that there are three corner double cannons, which is very interesting. Kind of an exposed mega tesla as well so what i'm thinking is that we actually kind of switch it up and bring in some pekkas also because there are no crushers on this first stage we can actually get a lot of value so what we're going to do here is going to send in one of the cannon cards on each of these corners so that they can take out the double cannons those corner double cannons could potentially cause an issue for the P.E.K.K.A.s. Then we want to try and create a funnel for the P.E.K.K.A.s. So we want to see where we could best deploy our Battlecopter on perhaps a corner of the base and force the P.E.K.K.A.s into a high value area. So I think if we send our Battlecopter down south, we actually should do pretty good. Hopefully it'll take out the Arch Tower and then... We should start clearing out a lot of the things in front of the Crusher and the Mega Tesla. Thinking that once the Mega Tesla goes down, or not the Mega Tesla, but probably when the Crusher goes down, we'll send in all the Pekkas in front of the Mega Tesla so that hopefully they can take it out pretty quickly. We'll see here. A couple more hits. From the cannon cart and we will have our battlecopter ability going off pretty soon here but that's fine so now we'll do one to three make sure to move in number four so it can help damage the mega tesla we'll also move in number five and number six so they can start helping out took out the Use one of the Apeka abilities, help kill that roaster. We took out everything that can damage our cannon carts, and we are looking pretty good here. Ooh, we found a bomb right at the end. Very unfortunate. But we still are moving on to the second stage with five of our troops remaining. Kind of crazy. Kind of a weird strategy, but it's just something I sort of saw on the fly where we could take out all of those double cannons and crushers and have really really good success so now we want to see what extra troops can we bring we definitely want to go ground We've got our three cannon carts so we might as well bring in a barbarian test for some traps and then i believe probably a giant would work out pretty well actually i think maybe some hogs some hog gliders on some of these corner buildings that should work out pretty nicely. So, we can test for traps, and we can also check if there are any corner buildings. There are not. So, we'll test. Wow, there were a lot of traps over there. So, good thing we tested over there. There's probably traps over here. No? Oh, interesting. Okay. And then I guess we'll test uh, sort of straight on to this last cannon. We'll see. Okay, we did. We were able to pull the attention of the barbarian first, which is fine. As long as we was, were able to grab one of the guard post troops first, that's perfect. So now we can two shot the archer, go back to mortar mode. And we might be in range of the cannon, we might not. So we'll keep just inching forward one building at a time. But now we are going to distract the archer tower and the. I think the Archer Tower, because I think there are maybe some Teslas in the core of the base. Just gonna send in the battle machine with the two Pekkas, making sure to keep moving in these cannon carts a little bit closer. And then whenever the ground troops get targeted by the other Arch Tower, I'll send in. Okay, and there are the Tesla that pop. Perfect. So moving four and five, start taking those out. Uh, I guess we just send in the two uh, packs of hogs for the arch tower. 
And do we need even need the last hog? I don't think so. But we'll send it in, just for fun. Uh, we'll move the other cannon carts in for mobile mode. We'll use the uh, battle machine ability. We'll get a very nice 6R attack. So we'll do another one and see what we've got here. Okay, more of a popular base layout. So we've got all lowered arch towers right off the bat. So this base just screams the baby dragons and the cannon cart attack strategy. Because we don't have to worry about taking out those arch towers because our cannon carts will outrange them. So we only have to take out the lava launcher and that double cannon. So I do like to deploy my battle copter away from the air expo. So we will deploy it on the far side over here. And then we'll start just prepping the base. You know, no real specific area. Just trying to get some of the high hit point buildings taken care of. If you can keep your cannon carts on mobile mode, the longer, the better. That does shrink your chances of time failing. But as long as you're watching them, making sure they're always attacking, and as long as your battle copter gets pretty good value, you'll you'll do just fine. But ideally, we want to create a direct path to the lava launcher and the giant cannon. So our battle copter might actually just take it out for us. So we may only have to worry about the giant cannon, which would be pretty nice. So here, number four is done. We'll move him closer one more. One more tile, number five. Similarly, one more tile closer. Just safest if you move them like half a tile or one tile at a time. Until, well, we actually did get over 50%, so we know there's no Teslas on this base. Which is awesome. And since the giant cannon is in the core of the base, we really just need to directly target it with maybe even just one baby dragon. Let's see if we can get it. One baby dragon. We need, I think, five hits. Four, five, breath. Oh, it does take it out. Nice. All right, so now we get to do things a little bit differently where we can... Uh, just focus on using the baby dragon for time. So we definitely need to take out this core section of the base. Got a few seconds remaining, but with that breath ability, we damaged up everything in the core. So all that we have left is this last air bombs. A couple more hits from the cannon cart. So we're going into the second stage with four troops remaining. Full health baby dragon. Be very nice with that breath ability. So we will bring in some Barbarians, test for traps, because why not? And then we'll bring in another Baby Dragon, because we can. There's only you know a few Firecrackers here. We can use one Baby Dragon for the Zappies, and then one Baby Dragon potentially just for the Multi-Mortar. So let's check. There are no corner buildings right off the bat, so we'll try to find some of these Teslas, maybe some push traps. We found one Tesla already. Beautiful. Beautiful. But we're really just we're placing these cannon carts in a way that they can hopefully take out these cannons relatively easily. So I, I know four is not attacking, but I need to watch six. So once that barbarian goes down, take it out. Now four can get in range of that other cannon. And once all the cannons go down, there's really only the three Teslas and then the double cannon and the multi-mortar that we have to worry about. So not a whole lot. Our battle machine is going to get crazy value if you can keep your battle machine alive pretty much from one minute going onward. So we'll deploy the battle machine now. Let it charge up. We're not quite at 50%, so we don't know where all of the other traps are at. So I imagine there may be some Teslas over on that side. Can maybe risk it, move four in a little bit closer. Can maybe you can probably deploy a baby dragon here. Help soften up, maybe take out that double cannon. Oh, okay. They were on the top all on the top side. Interesting. Alright, so we'll actually use the battle machine ability. Those chains should take out that. Multi-mortar, beautiful. We'll send in the other baby dragon so that it can start to take out the auto outpost. And then we'll use the breath ability for the zappies. Boom. And one building left. We get very nice. Six-star attack. 
So now we'll see. Ooh, that was a. We went up and then went down, so we got six star. Darn. Too bad. A wash. So. Oh, we're up against the same base. So again, if it ain't broke, we don't gotta fix it. So we'll do the same thing. We can actually be a little bit faster here on the deployment. And hopefully we will not run into many time issues. Just waiting to see. Keeping things out of range. But we can kind of play with the range a little bit since we know there's no Teslas on this right hand side. We can just keep six on mobile mode. Take out the, uh, the builder hall much faster. Get higher DPS on mobile mode, which is nice. But it's a little bit more risky because you may run into traps. But the likelihood that this person actually moved tra the traps around uh, very close to zero. You can always count the buildings. So if you didn't know, you, you can only place 14 defenses on the first stage. So if you count 14 defenses, then you know there are zero Teslas on the first stage. So we'll have our Battlecopter go down here pretty soon. Waiting for that elixir storage to go down. Then we'll send in the one Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon might actually survive a little bit longer, depending. Nice does also take out the giant cannon like it did before and then we'll probably do the same thing over here we'll use the baby dragon ability take out the mega tesla help damage things up in the core so that we don't run into any time issues and you can see that we just by knowing that we attacked this base before and by optimizing the attack just slightly, mostly with this number six cannon cart, we are now finishing with 15 seconds left. Whereas the other attack, how many seconds were left? Maybe like, it's like seven or eight, I think. So a few more extra seconds worked out very, very well. We know all the Teslas are up at the top side of the base. Um, so we don't really have to bring in any barbarians to test for traps because we also did not hit any any traps when we were deploying them. Assuming that we deploy them in relatively the same spots. The only thing that we do know is that there are the Teslas on this top side here, so we will just have to be careful with number six as it gets closer to the guard post troops. But we can send in our battle machine way earlier since we know it won't have to deal with any Teslas on the inside of the base. And then as long as the cannon carts are cruising along, we are looking good. I think we send in the baby dragon again just to soften things up. Go to take out the uh, double cannon, help out here. Let's see here, six. Move that one in. We can actually send in another baby dragon. Help take out the archer. And then the number six cannon cart moved on mobile mode, taking out the... The Barbarian, then we can use the Battle Machine ability. Don't technically need to use it because now all the defenses are going to be taken out. So don't even really have to use the last Baby Dragon. Because now everything is good. Going on mobile mode. We'll see, is the Auto Outpost the last building? It is the last building. So the Zappies just instantly vanquish themselves. And we get a very nice six star attack. So we'll take a look. I know I didn't show it before, but we were, let's see, 3,751. It's three attacks, we gained 150, and we probably lost around like 200 trophies, but we went up about 2,000 spots from just those three attacks. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Hopefully you can spot some weaknesses and bases going forward. And until next time, take care. And then if you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on the screen. Thank you. Bye-bye.